Welcome back to another episode of Will's Builds. On today's episode, we're going to be installing something in the Caprice that I feel is probably the best bang for the buck mod you can do. It just makes the car feel like a completely different animal and it's all for a hundred bucks and it comes in this little box right here. So this ship box that uh, you get comes with basically everything you're gonna need. It comes with a nice, a decent set of instructions. Uh, the pictures are pretty good. They're, I think they're good enough for most people. They're, they're not the clearest, but I mean, you know, this isn't, this isn't a big company. You know, this is a guy that built these things for the community and the pictures are pretty good. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with the pictures. I hope I can clarify any questions that people may have in this video. So I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna follow these directions as best I can and show you exactly where this stuff is in the car so there's the directions and here we got the box now included is one of these little splicers goes right on the wire and then we got our box here so it's got an on off switch and it's got a, an up button and a down button I believe reds up and black is down and then it's got the three wires this red one's the power wire which uses the little splicer that it comes with. The black one's obviously the ground that can basically go anywhere. And then this blue wire here is our signal wire that goes to the body control module itself. So technically this red one goes to the body control module, but that's just to tee off the power from it. This is the one that's actually gonna be sending the up down signal to the body control module, which then sends it uh, eventually to the transmission and controls it from there. Okay, so the first thing I did was I went ahead and pulled out the lower airbag assembly that's right here. You don't have to do it, but for this video I'm going to. And if you want to, it's only two bolts and a couple couple little clips. Comes right out, no big deal. Gives you tons more access. Another thing I went ahead and did was disconnected the negative terminal on the battery because I don't want any sort of code or anything. I did that before disconnecting the airbag just because I don't know how finicky these things are with airbags being disconnected while the battery's applied. So to avoid getting any problems with that, I just went ahead and disconnected the battery first. So going through the directions, you know, first thing it says disconnect battery cable. Step two, it says find a suitable mounting location that fits your liking. Enough wire's been provided with the box. As you can see, it's all coiled up nicely. To mount the unit just to the right of the stock 9C1 shifter, which is obviously what we have. Uh, step three. Step three is locate the body control module. Now mine is where that green and blue plug are up in there. It's not very, it's not super easy to get to, but it's also not the end of the world. So if you can't find it right here, this white block is the steering sensor and it is just inboard of that steering sensor it's on a bracket it's got seven plugs on it gray purple brown black blue white green and the first one that we are going to be looking for is the first connector which is the green one okay so on the green plug here we're looking for pin 17 it is a solid purple wire and in the picture you can see that it's just above an orange wire with a silver stripe so right here is an orange wire with a silver stripe and just above it is a solid purple wire now right next to it is a purple wire with a yellow stripe and you don't want that. So actually I should say that that's just an orange wire, but they have like these silver bands on them, but they kind of all have silver bands. The stripe is gonna run lengthwise of the, on the wire and these bands run around it. So you want the purple one, it has two silver bands on it, but the one right next to it is also purple with two silver bands, but it has a yellow stripe running lengthwise. So we're gonna put this behind the wire where we can easily access the hinge part because that's where the power wire taps into it. And probably gonna need some pliers because this metal piece right here has to cut through the insulation and actually grab onto the wire. I'm 
just like that and it's latched on there and that's going to be the power for our tap up tap down box okay so i'm going to run the wires because once this pin is installed in the bcm uh, you're not going to be able to get it back out and i think i'm going to put this right here it clears this 12 volt plug there's a hole right here all right so i just checked just to make sure and the red wire is the shift up and the black button is the shift down so i'm gonna have it so it's like this so you know up down up down on off simple so i'm gonna pass them through here Now that I have this blue wire ran back to where I need it, I can go ahead and put it into the plug here. Now it is pin 20. So the purple wire that we're getting power from is 17, so it's gonna be three over from that. This one right here it is between a white wire, striped red, and a brown wire. Now, first you have to before you can put the pin in, you need to release this blue retainer here. Okay, so wires are installed, everything's plugged in, the connectors are plugged back into the BCM, and I zip tied the wires up out of the way. So now I'm going to reinstall the airbag and the other plastics and we can go for a test drive all right so i know i didn't show everything with the install there of the box it started getting dark and i couldn't get everything in before it, it was too dark to film basically but you know i showed the two main things that power wire and the blue sensor or the blue actual the signal wire for the shift box you know those are kind of the important ones um, where they go, like I said, your ground can go anywhere you have a good ground. So, so as you saw, there's a power button. So when you're in drive, you just turn it on. And then... And then you just shift up and down. throttle it basically rev matches and it just sounds just sounds so good so yeah I, I hope it's picking it up uh, my exhaust isn't crazy loud or anything but I'm hoping it I'm hoping this microphone can pick it up okay but yeah, it just makes the car sound like so much better. I love it. But so, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. And I'm headed to the weld shop right now to drop off coolant system stuff for the Miata. I got a bunch of the fittings in, and that will be in the next video. Actually, we'll be carrying on with the Miata cooling system setup that we're working on but now there's a cop everybody slamming on the brakes because a cop has somebody pulled over and that's what you do when you see a cop on the side of the freeway you slam on your brakes <sighs> so yeah thanks for watching guys if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button i greatly appreciate it uh i'm trying to hit 100 subscribers this year i'm 
as of right this second, I'm currently at 50. So I got a little ways to go, but I'm gonna. Tr I'm trying to be more consistent with posting videos every two weeks, as well as more Miata stuff, which is what I really wanted to show on this channel. But uh, the stuff with the Caprice is cool too, because it's not a very common car. So I like the Caprice stuff, but I'm really excited to get into the Miata. I got parts coming for that, for not just cooling system, but I have parts coming for like the drivetrain and it's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy uh, these next few videos that we do on the Miata. So stay tuned and until next time, just keep building.